let's talk about simple interest and for this example i'll take dollar uh, hundred and uh, suppose the interest rate is 10 percent so how will i calculate the interest rate interest for five years so it's uh, very simple so i'll take the principal that is dollar hundred and i multiply this with 10 percent so 10 percent when we write 10 percent we have to say 10 divided by 100 or 0 0.01 and then i will multiply with the time so that will give me a total of 50 dollars so this will be the interest so after five years what will happen is i will have my principal which is hundred dollars and fifty dollars will be added to it so that will give me a total of one hundred and fifty dollars now what's happening actually uh, year by year basis so to look at that uh, we'll do a timeline so suppose if this is a timeline t and we have uh, 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 years so what's happening is so if you calculate the 10 percent so 10 percent of 100 is 10 so what's happening is that every year you are adding dollar 10 into the equation and uh, because you are five years so it will get a total of five times so you start with 100 and then you will end up with 110 120 130 140 and 150 so remember that this is the end of one year so this is end of one year so this is important it's not like you will get uh, on the start of the first year you will get in the end of the first year and similarly this will be the end of the second year when you get the twenty dollars so so this is the basic idea but what's wrong with the simple interest so let me give you an example so suppose if you have hundred dollars and you are investing it for um, two years so if you invest it for two years so let's do like this so you have two years and ten percent so what will happen you will get one hundred and twenty dollars right so this is simple you take 100 multiply by 2 multiply by 10 divided by 100 so that will give you 20 so you will end up with a 20 dollar interest now suppose um, you only invest for one year so after one year the same amount of money will become 110 right so this is one year and then you take this money out and invest it again so if you invest this money again for one year again instead of ten dollars you will get eleven dollars so look at this so 110 multiply by 10 divided by 100 that will be equal to eleven dollars so after one year you will end up with 121 dollars so here you were uh, you had 120 dollars here you have 121 so you had a difference of one dollar so what's the difference the difference is that here you are investing continuously for two years and here you are investing for one year and then you want the bank to consider the total amount you had in the bank as your investment uh, initial investment and then you want the interest on the interest right so so this is basically what is compounding so therefore the compounding is more practiced um, because this is a more fairer system or more logical system to apply so in simple interest is not widely used 
but you can see that simple interest uh, will end up giving you less interest as compared to the compound interest where compound interest is more logical also so now this was the example only for one year investment so how about if you do this on daily basis you make a inter you get some interest on one day and then you take the money out and you put it back again so because you you can't do it physically but you can ask the bank that i want my uh, interest rate to be compounded every day so that way you will end up with more interest rate but the bank knows this so what will happen is that if you have a daily compounding the interest rate will be lower as compared to the simple interest uh, which will be compounding which will not be compounding at all or something which will be compounding every year so suppose if the interest is same so interest is same so interest rate interest rate simple will be higher so not high i'll say i'll just put a uh, will be higher than compound yearly and they will be higher than compound daily right so this is that when interest is same when you will be getting the same amount of interest right so suppose if bank wants to give you um uh, 20 uh not 20 percent 20 dollars so suppose if the bank wants to give you 20 dollars after two years and you go to the bank and you ask them i want to do the simple interest so the simple interest rate will be much higher but if you ask them i want to have it compounded yearly then they will be lower than the simple and if you want them to compound daily then it will be much lower but in all these cases you will end up with a 20 dollars right so if the interest is constant however if interest rates are constant right so suppose the interest rate is 10% now the interest for simple will be the lowest compared to the compounding yearly and will be compared to the compounding daily so you will make much lower interest if it's simply sim it's a simple interest as compared to if it's a compounded daily so i hope this video help and i'll see you in the next video thank you